Hola from Central Florida, March 2022. It's my Pintar. Get ready to kick off another painting. This is what we're up to. 36 by 36. That's my sketch. Got some color ideas in mind. There's the next one. Uh, thought I'd mention some color scheming options. Went to my little store called Lowe's and picked up these Valspar color guides. Indoor paint options, but wow. Gives you a lot of interesting uh, palette combinations and palette ideas. They've got every color under the sun, so when you're looking for scheming and colors that might work together, at least according to the folks at Valspar, this is what they think would work. And uh, since most of our paintings will hang in somebody's house, uh, hopefully, uh, this could be a good starting point. Also picked up a myriad of color swatches here. So these things too are kind of cool. Give you some ideas on colors that you could try and what works together and what doesn't so I got a bunch of that stuff and then uh, you know what's the next step well we go and where's my little scratch board here hello I got my camera plugged in try to match those colors up mix them up Prussian cobalt cobalt blue permanent uh, purple uh, so, bird sienna, give you some ideas, at least for me, on what tuba paint am I going to open up to put those colors together. Anyway, uh, that's what we got. Let's get painting. All right, well, the first uh, step for me was to cover the majority of the background with a 40% uh, gray. Just a little black and white mixed together. Put most of it uh, around the sides and on the main part of this 36 by 36 gallery wrap canvas. Once I have this in place, uh, let it dry for a little bit, make sure that's set up, and then I was about to begin putting on my design that I talked about a bit earlier. I don't know what, uh, what's gotten into me lately, but I've gone into this, this, uh, square deal. And, uh, so we started with a couple squares, and then of course towards the end you'll see I expanded into the squares. Uh, I always like to splash and splatter and get some things moving in, in a direction or two. Uh, this piece, I just put, uh, hopefully get the center of interest just a little bit off center left and uh, a mixture of some blues and grays and that was pretty much going to be the limitation for this palette is keep things in the blue family uh, as mentioned on the uh, earlier in the video with the Valspar color swatches it's pretty cool it kind of limits uh, what I'm going to do with paint colors and hopefully Somebody might see us and say, hey, that would work perfect in our living room or in our bedroom or dining room, etc., etc. So i um, hoping to complement somebody's existing wall colors for this painting that I don't need to keep in my house much longer after I get it done. So I'll shut up and let you watch a little bit more. Stick with me. I think you'll like what you see. Give you a couple ideas.
What is up today, YouTubers? That's right. That's my version of a selfie. All right, here we go. Let's get back to reality with this painting. So, early in the painting, I talked to you about these color swatches that I've got from, in this case it was Lowe's. We got Chimney Smoke and we've got Royal Navy and I had them up here as an idea. That was going to be my, oh what do you got, Royal Navy, Close, and then my Chimney Smoke not too close, too red, too black, too much black. Anyway, so I kind of liked, I just kind of put a piece of putty on it and stuck it up there. I like, I like that. I like the squares. This one went in this geometric direction again with, with the utilization of squares. So I've got to go back in here and tweak these a little bit. So I had these little baby squares too. These are kind of cool. I like them. I like them. It was an idea. Close. Close. General. Was it this one? I don't know. Anyway, I could do all kinds of neat things with these little color swatches. Uh, the overall palette, I think, came together just by using one of those, uh, the Valspar color guide for interior design. Just took three or four colors off that and uh, utilized that piece. So I think I'm going to just lighten this guy a little bit uh, and make that a little more blue. But beyond that, this one uh, is pretty much complete. Anyway, hope you like it. More experimentation with abstract. Thanks for watching. Mike Pintar here. See ya!